Welcome Streamstronauts. If you've ever been curious about the Moorbot Scout or Scout E but aren't sure which one to choose, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll break down the key differences between the two and showcase their capabilities. Let's start by unboxing each of them. The Scout package includes the Scout robot, a charging station, a USB wall plug in charger, and a USB connection. It also comes with adhesive tape to secure the charger to the floor. The Scout wheels are round with smaller spiral wheels around them, allowing it to move side to side without turning. Think of it as crab walking. On the other hand, unboxing the Scout E will bring back some nostalgia because it includes the same items as the Scout. However, the Scout E features a tank-like tires designed for rough terrains. Importantly, these tires are interchangeable, so the Scout E can use the Scout's wheels and vice versa. The Scout E also sports a front bumper for added protection, which not only looks cool, but it also adds a touch of armor. Here is a demonstration of testing them on carpet. Both the Scout and Scout E navigate without trouble, while the Scout moves straight and can go side to side reasonably well. The Scout E, due to its wheels, can't move side to side, but excels in turning and is sturdier, making it hard to knock over as you can see from this video. On hardwood floors, both robots perform equally well and the only difference lies in their wheels. Everything else remains identical. In the settings, you can connect multiple scouts to your account and link them to your Wi-Fi, allowing remote access from anywhere in the world. All settings from video options to system settings are consistent between the two models. You can even customize the tires for your Scout or Scout E in this menu. Both models offer 1080p video quality and night vision capabilities. The controller provides various functions such as photo, capture images, video, record what your robot sees, sound, listen to audio around your robot, microphone, speak through your robot, patrol path designs a predefined path for your robot, track and follow enables your robot to follow you or your pet, motion detection activates when your scout is charging. And then on the top left, you have a button that lets you know when you're on the charger and lets you exit out of the charger. And also you have an auto charge button on the top as well. So whenever you're ready for your robot to find the charger, you can click on that and it'll try to find the charger so you can charge. Outside, both robots handle short grass well, but can tip over in taller grass. There are attachments available to prevent tipping, which can come in handy for outdoor adventures or capturing amusing pet moments. In conclusion, both robots are nearly identical. The only difference is the Scout features regular wheels, and the Scout E comes with tank wheels and a front bumper, which you can also equip the Scout with. The biggest and only real difference is that the Scout E has waterproofing IPX4, which is extremely beneficial if you want to use the Scout outside. Given the reasonable price difference, I've decided to keep the Scout E and return the Scout just because of being waterproof due to wanting to use it outside sometimes. You can find the Scout on Amazon for a quick delivery at a slightly lower cost, while the Scout E is available exclusively on Morbot.com. Links are provided in the description below. I personally use my Scout to monitor my home and interact with my pets, especially my curious cat who finds the Scout particularly fascinating. Thanks for watching Streamstronauts. Don't forget to subscribe and become a Streamstronaut. In each video, I'll share a random Steam game code, which is unique to this video. Be the first to redeem it on your Steam account and enjoy a free game. Remember, it's only one code per video, so act fast and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.